हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज आशीष सैनी फ्रॉम इनोवेट योर सेल्फ वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल एंड आल्सो वेलकम बैक टू द थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ बिल्डिंग योर फर्स्ट वॉइस बॉट विद रासा चैट बॉट सो टिल नाउ व्हाट वी हैव डन इज वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन टू पार्ट्स द फर्स्ट वन वाज इन व्हिच वी वर सेइंग लाइक how to send an external message to your rasa chatbot so that your rasa chatbot can give you reply according to that and that input and output both will be in the textual format and the second one was in which you have seen if in case you want to send an input in the form of a voice so that that voice can be sent to your rasa chatbot so that your rasa chatbot can give the reply according to that but your input is in the form of a voice so here what we have done is we have applied speech to text part so that it can convert your verbal form into the textual form so this is what we have done till now now as your rasa chatbot will take the value in the form of the textual format and also it will return you the value in the form of textual format so if you are talking to your bot so it doesn't look nice like you are saying in the form of a verbal form and your chatbot is saying in the form of textual form so that doesn't look good so for that what we have to do now is we have to take that output from your rasa chatbot which is in the textual format and that textual part will be converted into the form of a voice so here we are going to use the technology which is known as the text to speech so this is what we are going to learn in a today's session so what is text to speech and how it is used with your rasa chatbot so for that let's see what is text to speech so text to speech technology reads aloud digital text so the words on computer smartphones and tablets so in short it means that whatever text you are having with you whether it is on your system whether it is on your smartphone or tablet or anywhere that text will be converted into the form of a voice so in short your system will be able to read that text and that text will be converted into the form of the speech so this is how your speech to text is going to work and this text to speech part is very helpful for those who are not able to read or let's say who face difficulties while reading or let's say for the blind person right so the blind person cannot re read the text directly so in that case what he can do is he can directly use this text to speech technology and whatever text you are having on your screen that will be speak aloud so that the person can hear to that so this is how your text to speech part work now this was a basic introduction about text to speech now let's go to the program and let's see how to implement it with your rasa chatbot so for that go back to the project so this is the program which we have created in our last session to convert your speech into the text so this was the complete program for that now in our today's session we have to convert your textual part into the speech part so in this session we are going to use the module which is gtts which is google text to speech so this is what we are going to use in our today's session so to use that firstly you have to install it on your system or let's say you have to install it in your environment whatever you have created like you can see here i am already inside the project directory where i am having the complete project and that environment is also activated where i have installed all the packages which i require in this project so similarly in here also i have to install some packages so here you can see here is the package which i have to install and here are the commands for that so the first one is pip install gtts so just type it over here and press enter so when you will enter this this will start installing the package and that package will be installed on your system so this is how it will work and your package will be installed on your system and the second one is sudo apt get install mpg321 so why we are going to use it here is so the reason for that is here what we are going to do we are going to uh <clears throat> take a text from the user and using this gtts which is the google text to speech that will take that text and it will convert it into the form of 
a voice right and that voice will be recorded or let's say that voice will be saved into your system so to play that sound again we need a media player that will help us to speak aloud that particular voice whatever has been converted into the speech format so this is how we are going to uh, use it and this is why we are going to install this package and this command is valid for your Ubuntu system so this will be applicable for that only right so this is how we are going to do it now we are done with the installation part and after that we have to create a program that will help us convert your textual part into the speech part so for that I am already having this program with me in which I have written this small program that will help you convert your textual part into the speech part so here you can see firstly I have imported two packages so firstly I have imported from GTTS import G capital TTS right so this is what I have in imported over here and after that uh, I have entered a manual text which I just want to convert from text to speech part just for now in future we are not going to use this part in future we will be taking that input which is in the textual format from your rasa chatbot and that textual part will be converted into the speech part right so just for now just for the basic understanding i have just used this text and after that uh, i have created one variable with the name language inside which i have entered the code en within the quotation and this en means i'm going to use the language which is english right so this is uh, why I have specified this so if in case you want to convert this into some different language let's say Hindi let's say Spanish let's say any other language so for that you have to specify a code according to that and with respect to that that particular text will be converted into that format right so this is how we are going to use it and after that I have to create an object using this class which I have imported over here from this GTTS that will be used to take the input from your side and it will convert that into the speech part right so for that i am having this gtts within bracket you have to pass few arguments so the first one is the text the text which you want to convert to the speech part so this is what i have specified over here inside this my text right and with respect to that i am specifying the language so LANG is the argument in which I have to specify the language which I want to use over here so the language which I want to use over here is EN by default if you will not set this then at that time it will use English language only so if you want to use English then you can leave this part if in case you want to use some different language at that time you have to specify this in this way right so this is how you have to use it and after that when this part will be done you have to save this file right so here I am using this object to save this file with particular name or let's say this is the complete path where I want to save the file in the mp3 format right so here I have written welcome dot mp3 within quotations right so this is what I have done and this is how I am just saving the file and when your file will be saved after that my next task is to just use some media player right so I'm using some media player with respect to that my voice will be speak aloud right so that will be converted into the textual part and I'll be able to hear that part right so this is how it is being used and here I have used this sub process right so in this I'm using this sub process to call this so the first one is the media player whichever you want to use similarly here is the path to the file which you want to call and just play it and similarly here you are setting up the code like what you want to do with this file and with this media player so what I want to do is I want to just play it once and after that I just want to exit it right so this is what I want to do so this is how I have written this short program and this was the complete program using which I'll be able to convert my textual part into the speech part now this is done my next part is to just run this and let's see how it will work right so just <clears throat> run this Welcome to 
You are able to listen to this voice. Welcome to innovate yourself. So this is how you can convert any text into the speech part. So this is the way how we are going to do it. So this is how you can convert your text to speech. And similarly, here you can see this time I have used MPG three to one. But if in case you want to change it with some different media player at that time, what we can do is we can just replace the name over here. Like in my case, if I don't want to use it and I already have VLC media player installed on my system, so I can just replace it with VLC and it will be played according to the VLC media player. Now just save this and run it again. Change it with some different yourself so this is it for today i hope everything was very clear to you but still if you are facing any kind of a difficulties then you can definitely leave a comment below in the comment section and till now you can see we have converted the speech to text and also text to speech and also we have seen how to send the external message to your rasa chatbot now our next task is to merge these three parts and to further use it as a verbal bot or let's say to use it as a voice bot which is the main motive of creating this video i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video then do click on the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet then do click on the subscribe button so that you do not miss any kind of videos from my side till then bye bye and happy learning